that's the idea too. My own work was a discovery of information that I, I didn't I wouldn't say it was suppressed, but it certainly wasn't easy to find. But it's just the what what I think you've done for me is is you have taken psychology and the human condition out of the hands of the quackademics. Yeah. Well that's 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 what I wanted to do. Uh, this stuff should not be academic. This is this is like saying human biology should be academic or spirituality should be academic. These things are intrinsic to all of us. We all have a right to express and work with them in ourselves. Uh, and and this to me is like it's almost like the way they want to tax. It's almost like a sort of an intellectual taxation system or something. Where something that you should you should enjoy for free, explore for free, is then handed over to a third party who can guide you through that. It's kind of like this. It's just the same approach as religion. You have religion or spirituality. You you don't need the middlemen. You need the teachers. You need the prophets, the groundbreakers, the the people who can probably stitch these threads together. But once you have the 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 underlying, the underlying aspects. Of what's happening, then you work upon it yourself, and that's 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 what I wanted to get across. If this is you, this is your journey, okay? This is not this is this is your personal journey that you have to take, and it's a road to discovery, and it's something you have. It's something that you cannot do with another person. You have to do it yourself, and this 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 it's, it, you you have you don't have the map, but you're an explorer. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, but, and but that do, exploration is the journey. But do you see that that what you have actually started now in in your own little way? I know that that it can sound a little bit too large, right? Um, when when people in entertainment and um, well, creative people were disclosing these things in myth and in. Um, um, in movies and and books, right? People like uh, Harris and um, his Hannibal uh, Lecter uh, series, and um, Brett Easton Ellis with um, uh, American Psycho. All these examples of trying to describe this phenomenon, right? It it was either entertainment or academic. There was nothing in between. What what you have basically done is is taking it out of of that uh, narrative and 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 you're saying to people, well, it does not belong in either of those. They belong in the real world. Yeah, yeah. In definitely. your life. <laughs> yeah. That's yes. really fucking novel. It's extreme because it is not a a piece of entertainment and it's not an academic materialistic attempt of of cutting into something and reducing it to some mechanics it's about re rediscovering what i might uh, call the roots the 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 pagan roots yeah yeah well thank you for that because that's exactly what i was trying to do i just wanted to demystify and uh create a matter of fact approach to something that really should be in everybody's life and should not be something they should have to discover you know at first it should be always there and then they can go on their journey of discovery so i, I take you reading the book are you, are you enjoying the book <laughs> i am enjoying it and and <laughs> what what i really like is is again it's the source that's m my main point it, it it's what really inspires me the fact that you are doing this as a self-taught person as a layman and 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 well, as you know, uh, the whole idea with, with Soul United is to, to, to share all this um, contained and controlled knowledge and, and giving people the power back, um, getting them to uh, start uh, working on critical thinking and about yeah. um, do it yourself in, in every way, giving them tools to, to, to be totally liberal, uh, totally uh, liberated from any dependency of any kind um, and and you are just the most clear example of this because you are so specialized 
because you focus on this um, this detail in 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 what I call academics, right? You've taken it from them. They do not own it anymore. And the number of times I've heard people trying to um, usually when there's a new movie out or a new series, uh, then some uh, psychiatrist or psychologist uh, starts blabbering about what a psychopath is and they get into all this psychopath, sociopath, blah 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 uh, and it all becomes um, nomenclature so it has no... There is, also, there is also an attempt to trivialize it as well there's, there's, there's books written by by people who've been dumped in relationships maybe they've been with psychopaths, maybe they have it. some certainly have, but some of the ones I've read but some of them I'm dubious about and I'm not, there's, there's one particular series of books that's produced by this person who uh, the, the, the covers of the books are quirky and cartoonish and they look like the Flintstones or the Jetsons and it's all about how it's, it's all, you know, it, we're talking about one of the most hidden psychological holocausts in society and this person has written a book to make it seem like uh, a bad date and uh, you, could you imagine if we if we uh, approach pedophilia, rape, or even slavery the same way? And so I do see the sort of like a need to trivialize this stuff now. It's kind of, that's the, that's the new thing now. And so now the cat's out of the bag, and people like myself and a few others are like, you know, grabbing this stuff out of the the, the, the out of the uh, the marbled halls of academia and running down the street like waving it like this sort of manifesto to the masses. I've noticed there's now a specific sort of like uh, tr trust to oh, make it not seem so bad. Uh, one particular individual has written a book where he basically says, "Oh well, psychopaths exist, but you know they're very rare, and they're, they're not they're not as many as you think they are." And and it's all to deflect from your your notion that you're dealing with uh, psychopathic leaders, and this guy is a well-known sort of alternative journalist, which may which is essentially a, a mainstream journalist who is the sort of state-sanctioned version of alternative viewpoints. I'm talking about a Michael Moore type. And this is something they've tried quite recently, and it's, it, it's flopped. And uh, the books have come across as glib and infantile, and they've been getting pretty poor reviews, except by the sort of same corporate media he works for. And uh, so it's good. It's, 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 it, it, I really do feel like we have them by the balls here. I really do with this stuff. Because suddenly we have something that's an actual, tangible, quantified, validated, and peer-reviewed science that we can actually hold back at them and say, okay, debunk this, and they can't. 